Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Repack. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you some tweaks by using it, guys. You can supercharge your PC for gaming. So guys, just make sure to watch this complete video till the end. And if this is your first time here onto my channel, Repack, so subscribe and turn on the notification. Therefore, you never miss out any next video update from this channel. So, guys, first of all, guys, the most and the guys important step to guys just update your graphics driver. So guys the method for the nvidia or the amd or also for the intel user is different so i'm going to show you majorly for two but first is the amd and second is the nvidia users for just updating your driver just open up any browser on your pc and just type your amd for the amd users i'll give you the link of the site into the description so just go there and download the driver from the sites so you can also download the auto detected driver for the radions and you can also download it manually but i would recommend you to guys download it for the manually method so just select here your graphics card and just your uh, graphics card series from here i'm just randomly select out it here now select your uh, amd radian model click again the model and just click on to the submit button when you click on submit so it will uh, show you the screen just click on to the operating system which you are using here so i'm using the windows 10 64 bit edition so you just download this and install it on the pc I also make a dedicated video for the AMD Radeon software best settings for the gaming. You can also watch it there. I will also give you the link into the descriptions of my this video and also into the i button. So just go there and also watch that video uh, for the best settings of the AMD Radeon. So guys, now let's just go for the NVIDIA users. So now you need to open up your browser and just go for the NVIDIA drivers into the Google search. So guys, here is the results for it. So just first link, which is the NVIDIA.com slash download. So just open up this first link from here. So guys, here is the interface for the NVIDIA drivers downloading. So first of all, select here your uh, type. So I have the G4 1650 super card on my PC. So guys, I'm just selecting out it here, the G4. Select out the model which is the 16 series and just select out the 1650 Super and the operating system and the most important thing if you want to not get any type of crash while you're gaming on PC so just download the game driver from here. Click on the search button and just download the latest driver for your PC. So just after downloading and installing the driver for the booth users now guys let's go for the next step. So guys, next step is now we are going to create our best powerful power plan for our PC. Therefore, our GPU or our CPU also give a compatible or the equal performance for all the games. So guys, for it, we need to create a powerful power plan. So I will give you the link of a software into the description of my this video. So just go there and download that pack. So when you open up that pack, so you will get the software, which is the power controller to so just simply install the software on the pc actually guys just fix out your bottleneck of your cpu and create a powerful power plan for you therefore you will get the uh, constant the best performance on your pc if you have the low end or the high end pcs so guys just after opening up or installing up the software now you need to just go here into this arrow click on to the bridge highest performance click on to the make this activate and your this power plan will be activated now now click on to this button on the arrows and select it on to the 100% and disable out all of the settings from here. Now click on to this apply button, click ok and just check mark here on to the Bridgesome dynamic boost enable and also select out here the Bridgesome highest performance. Click ok and apply the settings again and now click ok again. Guys this software is running in your PC always so guys not guys any worry this is not any type of virus this is just a software for your CPU. So guys just after doing this step now we are going to just uh, select our game for the high priority in our PC. So just for this go into the uh, display settings of your PC just right click and display into this. Go for the advanced graphic settings. Guys here is the settings so just turn on the hardware activation GPU scheduling. If you have the AMD so this option will be not available for you but if you are the Nvidia so this will be available. So just turn on the options and restart your PC. Just after doing out it, now you need to select out here the games which you play on your PC. So just select out the desktop app from here. Go for the browse sections and just simply select out the launcher of any game which you play on your PC. Just simply go into the directory and select out the uh, launcher or the modern well file like other games if you have Fortnite players. So just go into this PC and go where you have installed your Fortnite. So I've installed it here in the Fortnite sections important games binary win64 and here is the launcher file just select out the first file which will you can check it out here the size of this file is bigger than the three so select out the first file 
click on the add section go for the options and set it on to the high performance save the settings and now guys over shading before our performance is now completed next guys now we are going to do or optimize our hard disk where we have installed our game therefore we are going to fix out the fp stops and stutters in our pc before this go into this pc and here is guys over all the guys hard drive i have three drives right now on my pc one is my ssd and two is the 500 gb uh, hdd so guys just right click here onto the drive which you want to optimize so like i have installed the uh, fortnite or any other game onto this drive like the uh, wd hard drive just right click here go for the properties go for the tool sections and just click onto this optimize button when you click on the optimize so this window will be pop up on your screen so you can check it out here the optimized drives so just select out the drive where you have installed your game like if i have installed it on my c drive which is my s uh, which my ssd solid straight drive just select out it click onto the optimize button and guys it will take some time to optimizing your drive it is guys also increase the performance of your pc so guys make sure to do this for your all drives so just after doing it now just close out it and close this windows from here go into the properties of your c drive or where you have installed your windows go for the disk cleanup and guys just clean up your all the temporary files from here now click onto the clean up the system files it will take some time to just checking out all these files on your pc once it's done so just simply delete out all of the temporary files on your pc guys this is all the junk file on your pc which is just slow down your pc so just click on the delete button and it will clean up all of these uh temporary or the junk files from it so guys just after doing out it now go for the recycle bin click on the empty recycle bin and click yes and delete out all of the junk files from here now guys this is the next step and now here we are going to delete or the stop all of the unusual apps which is running in our background so just deleting out or stopping out these apps you need to just simply right click here on the taskbar go for the task manager and go for the startup applications guys you can check it out here the all the application is running in my background when i turn on my pc so just go onto the drive or the software which you want to guys just disable right click here go for the disable and just simply disable this option from here do the same for all of your uh, software which you not use on the startup so just i'm doing it right here like steam i don't use and here is the all the other guys settings which i have already done it here so guys just after doing this just close out this windows and now it's time to uninstall all of the uh, unused applications from your windows so just go into the windows settings go for the app sections and from here guys uninstall all the unused application from your pc like the cortina i don't use it so you can also uninstall it but it is difficult to install the software on my pc here is the disk unlocker i also don't use it but guys it is also not giving me the options for it so guys like this you can find out the other options which you uh, didn't use like microsoft the uh, solid selection so i don't use this option i didn't use this application so just click on the uninstall application and just install it from your pc so just guys after doing out all of these steps now guys this time to do some settings for your windows so just simply go into this window settings again go for the project sections and first of all we are going to just disable out all of the background applications here is guys option for the background apps just turn off the background applications from here now go for the home sections again and now this time go for the update and the security now guys i'm going to give you the uh, another tip you guys if you are uh, don't update your windows a lot of so guys go into the uh, delete optimizations and just turn off it because this is automatically do the start the optimizations when you play a game on your pc so in the background windows automatically start the updating on your pc for the windows so it is also slow down your pc so therefore i will recommend you to guys just turn off the delivery optimizations from here go for the home sections again now this time guys go for the gaming tab and this is guys the last tab just turn off the xbox game bar from here go for the capture settings and also turn off all of the settings from here just turn off this one go for the gaming sections and just turn on the game mode if you have the latest version of the windows installed on your pc so just simply turn it on if you don't have the latest version so just turn off these options because it is also guys help you to increasing the performance of your pc so guys just after doing out all of these settings now guys the last thing which you need to do just go into the windows search just type here run and press enter and just type here ms config so guys the system configuration window will be pop up on your screen so just go for the boot sections go into the advanced option and from here just select out the maximum number of processor you have on your pc also select out the maximum number of the memory you have click ok apply the settings 
and now it will ask you to restart your PC so just click on to restart and guys enjoy the best performance of your PC ever which you have never tried before. So guys I hope so this video has really helped out you guys increasing the performance of your PC and boosting up your FPS. So guys till the next video Allah Hafiz and bye bye.